During the week, the University of New Hampshire is often a relatively quiet and peaceful place. But on any given weekend, the streets of downtown Durham become flooded with students looking for a good time. On Main Street, Libby's, Scorps, and The Knot dominate the bar culture. The three bars offer DJ music, affordable drink deals, and loads and loads of high energy. But there's one thing missing. Durham bars almost never have live music on the weekends. DJ music and nationally popular songs dominate the sound aspect of Durham nightlife. But that's not to say live music has no place in the area. I think it would just like change the atmosphere. I think for a lot of people it would like bring in a different crowd of people. It would like switch up who hangs out with who. Um, I think that it, it's also just something that's like different than just going to Scorps or Libby's like every single weekend. Um. Rico Brea is a former student at the university who created The Emporium, a group of former and current students that bring in local bands and help them find venues and show opportunities in New England with hopes to make it all the way across the country. My senior year of college at UNH, I had some friends that were in a band and they just had nowhere to play. And so I built a stage in my basement and we threw a party. Um, that was pretty much it. And then after that, I started charging at the door, five bucks so I could start paying the band and stuff. And then um, that was really successful and it got shut down by the cops eventually. But um, all in all, it was successful and people started showing up. I did it on Saturdays so that um, people would come if they wanted to go to the bar. Recently, the Emporium had a series of shows set up at Libby's, but after only two shows, Libby's pulled out of the deal. The nightlife at UNH is not known for its live music scene. A live band at one of the three popular bars downtown is a rarity, and house parties of music even more so. The bars would offer a certain level of protection from noise ordinances in Durham, a confirmation that no privately owned house can offer. It could be possible to host live music in Durham without having to worry about noise complaints. So why aren't the bars hosting live music? As a senior here and have been going here for four years, I feel like there's not an immediate need for live music. Um, I don't, I've never really heard anyone say like, I wish that we had more like live bands coming or anything like that. I think that UNH has primarily a party culture. Um, so we look forward to going to the bars on Thursday and Saturday and listening to the DJs play throwbacks or like anything recent that um, isn't necessarily live music. Um, I also think that sometimes with live music there is a cover. Um, and a lot of students would prefer not to pay that and would to instead go to the bar where there's a DJ for free already. One of my biggest obstacles with all this would definitely be getting the space in the venues. Another, another difficulty would be um, promoting. It's very difficult. Um, we're opening up to like people who aren't used to the Emporium but have never heard of it. And live music is just uh, honestly like an old thing, but new to today's world, honestly. I'm trying to bring it back. Cool. Eventually. The local bands are around. They're looking for fun, high energy venues to play in. But most of all, they need the support. The live music scene around here is by no means flourishing, but that doesn't mean there's no demand. For people who care to listen to live music when they go out, not all hope is lost. Venues like the Stone Church in Newmarket frequently host live bands with a target audience of UNH students. Who knows, with enough support, the scene could maybe one day stretch itself to Durham. Time will tell.
good, so shut up. 